Is there any kind of contamination that you know of? Can we slide them back a little bit? Ready? One, two, three. Got it. Thank you. Do we got any kind of a bandage we can put on his head real quick? So to hold pressure. I don't have anything. Do you have anything? Yeah. Yeah. Pressures, vitals. Double check and make sure. Oh, yeah, they're about the same. 
Okay, so he's still 130s uh, systolic, and then 110s blood pressure. Okay, and he's still actively seizing, so he's just in a status epileptic. Oh, the run, yeah, 100, uh, likes for, or 100. There we go. Okay, I'm going to go tell the ICU and then we'll get ready to prepare this patient. Anybody got any last thoughts? Last thoughts, anybody? Nope. Okay. I'm going to grab that little strap. And then we'll do the other side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if I would do that one percent. And then come hold it for us. Did we ever get a tamp? She did. What was the tamp? CO2. Oh, I need points. Uh, monitor. I I opened the door. I don't know if I can plug it into the other one. Oh, uh, there's one already talking. Oh, yeah. There's an inline one right yeah. here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Keep continuing here. Oh, yeah, We're going to do Versed now. And then just that or we're mixing with propofol? Wait, what? No, he's got his propofol running. Got it. Right. Propofol's running at a drip, and then we're going to do the Versed at a drip. Can we elevate head and of the bed? And then elevate head of the bed, and we can hyperventilate uh, okay. one feet a little bit, and then we'll just hang tight. We got him on the bed, so we'll, yeah. Yeah, I just need like something to raise the head of the head up. I know, we don't have another blanket. extra blanket. But, oh, did you rub on who? Yeah. Yeah. Where's the easiest guarantee? Hold on. Keep it up, keep it up. Okay, wait, hold on. Ready? We can lower. Try to lower. Okay. Right, lower. Um, not your own okay. So we have a 29-year-old so male here. Okay, who's giving the miss report? Are we cutting? Uh, apparently. Yeah. Okay. Are you all getting a miss Tuesday? Miss report by anybody? Nope. Okay. So you're. Uh, Sir, can you open up your eyes? Sir. Okay. Be careful, because he is kind of like a seizure-like his eyes have no response. So there's no risk report. Okay. So eyes are no responsive. So he airway. He's the field, he was an IED blast. Uh, he's been seizing. We just picked him up. This is my buddy. Um, um, and there's been no intervention. No intervention. Okay. So his airway, he's intact, and it seems yeah. like is he breathing? You know, he's breathing. He's got equal for, uh, but his labor, he has some shallow labor breathing. Okay, shallow labor breathing. But okay. And then we're getting him fully exposed here. And then if you can, are you getting the IV? Oh, here. What she's done with that. Sorry. Sorry. That's my can you get those blue scissors right there for me? That are hanging right there? Yes. Yeah, uh, yeah right there. Uh, thank you. Okay, so let's get this IV and then we'll get them fully exposed for any bleeding elsewhere. This thing is not gushing blood here. This has stuff on Oh, no, it's not gushing blood. Okay. So I hooked up to the ocean? Yeah, it's perfect. He does have active bleeding from the back of his stomach. Oh, no. Back of his Okay. Okay, okay. okay so um, let's, when we come back, just wrap okay. up. Let's go. Okay. Any blood anywhere else? Nope. Warm yellow, have a Okay. Any blood? 
blood anywhere else? Blood here? No. Nope. And then this, you said, is not actively bleeding, but the set head is? Okay. Um, and then we heard his breath sounds, and so pelvis stable. Okay, pelvic pulses. Okay. Okay. And then, like I said, wrap that head wound, apply some pressure. We're in a long yellow. Do we want to keep him up on the uh, when you get a chance to um, just get me uh, a Yeah, I would say Crillex, yeah. Okay. So, do you want me to hold that? Do you have the IV already? No, she has my kit. Do we have vital signs? Can I get another IV kit? I got it. Okay. okay. So, any blood on this right upper quadrant? No. Nope. Blood over here? No. We have a negative fast. Negative fast. E fast looks good. Okay. And then we're yeah. still undressed, so we're still working on the vitals and the IVs. Okay. Let me know when applying you're pressure. Is this kind of wrapping it up? Yes. Is it yep. controlled? Okay. Controlled. Um, once you guys get them hooked up, I'll give you the scenario of vitals. Well, his SPO2, his... It looks like he's got some, like, burns on the side here, too. His pulse loss is 94%. His BP is on. I'm just working on the cardiac monitor. Should we throw a C collar on him? BP 132. In a floral unit that uses floral. So, um, so I'm going to go over some of the possible scenarios, what types of radiation uh, you can expect, and what you can do to protect yourself, but that's our focus. So we just cover the clinical side, we are going to go on the radiation safety, how to prevent uh, the exposure to the staff, and what could, what could you do if we have a patient. So hopefully the, they're going to go through the decon process, and by the time they enter the facility, they are clean. Uh, they have been decontaminated, right? But we have to be careful, you know, you have to be careful in that clinical setting about touching your face, right, when you're, when you're managing patients. So as long as you're using universal precautions appropriately, alpha emitters, you're not at risk from that in this clinical setting. But in the history of medicine, there's no documented cases where a, 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 a radiation contaminated patient uh, cause harm to healthcare providers. There's no documentation of this in all of them. Need a patient and they're completely squeaky clean but they bled out, what have you done, right? So you, so the trauma issues take precedent. You know, the ABCs take is, take precedent at, all the time. Even so, so there are, like we were talking yesterday, there's, there's a couple of mobile uh, decontamination units here. We're going to try to... Um, where do we put those after we take them off? Yeah, you have to treat it as a Onset. Now he's got diarrhea. How long ago this, was the onset? Uh, at 3 in the morning. We begin the... Okay. At 3 in the morning. Okay. All right. Um, we're actually going to have you walk on through this just to yep. with all your stuff. Exactly. Okay. Perfect. And then are you the one who determines whether or not... His stuff, we're going to have... We're need to take this from you, please. Yeah, we take this. We, we keep it safe for you, okay? Yeah. All right. Hey, we need to get our pad out. We're, we're going. He's a minimal, so we're not like in a huge room. But. Major symptoms or signs and symptoms, obviously, and story. The area of abdominal pain and uh, nausea, only that. And just no pain, just diarrhea. No. Diarrhea, abdominal pain, and nausea. So, our main three symptoms, but we did walk him through the, the detector. Okay. All right. Uh, I think it's. Um, Okay, and, so and he does have a wristband as well. Yeah. As far as okay. I'm going to bring it through, okay. through. Okay. I'm going to let you all take it from here. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Yeah.
Oh, oh yeah. Uh, did he go to the radiation detector and all that stuff? He did, yes. yeah. Okay. Yes, yes. It's not contaminated. It's not okay. Contaminated. Yes. And now we go ahead and clean this. Two, three, four, five, five. Two, no, the stool was uh, very loose. I'm watery. Watery. And uh, what did it um, eat? Do you need privacy? We're at all over. All over the are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> okay. Another okay. girlfriend one. Yeah. I could be selling crackers or things like that instead of drinks. So long as you keep that down low. Help! All right, man, pal, let's step out. My friend was in an IED. Okay. I don't know, he's got blood everywhere, he's kind of seizing. He's conscious? Not really. He's Not really? Yeah, he's got a head wound. Right, hold on. You got him? Look at him. Is he going to be okay? Lift. Ready to move? Uh, okay. Move. Get him hooked up. I'll give you the scenario vitals. Well, his SPO2, his SPO2 over 78. Do you have respiration? And then respiration are 12. And his heart rate was what you said? 130. Um, get him a liter of fluid right now. Um, and so then let's do a GCS now. So his eyes, oh, he's seizing now still. Motor response. Temperature, so abnormal flexion. So then that's giving him like a three and a one. So that's four. And then you said uh, his, no, he's still seizing. Okay. Um, oh, take cover. Let's have it. Any equivalent per kilo. Down on three. One, two, three. Okay. Back down. Bring him down. Give it. How much rock do you want? Oh. Here. Yeah. More and then we should have a vent here too, right? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, back there. Okay. Let's get him set up on the bed. Yeah. Sorry. We have a hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if that's too good. Not bad. Okay. One, two, three, lift. Good. Good, good. Okay. Perfect. Ready? One, two, three, good. Good. 
Alright. We'll get them all picked, then we'll get them on the monitor.